Andrei Andreevich Rublev, born October 20, 1997, is a Russian professional tennis player. He has been ranked as high as world number no. 5 in singles by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP, which he first achieved in September 2021. Rublev has won 15 ATP Tour singles titles, including a Masters 1000 title at the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters. He has reached the quarterfinals of all four majors, but is the male player of the Open era to have done so the most times without progressing to the semifinals, holding in 0-10 record in major quarterfinals. Rublev broke into the top 10 of the ATP Tour in October 2020. He has won four ATP doubles titles, including a Masters 1000 title at the 2023 Madrid Open with Karen Kachanov, and in addition a gold medal in mixed doubles at the 2020 Summer Olympics with Anastasia Pavyuchenkova. In his junior career, Rublev won the 2014 French Open singles title, defeating John Munar in the final. He won the bronze medal in singles and the silver in doubles at the 2014 Summer Youth Olympics in Nanjing. He was part of the successful Russian Davis Cup team in 2021. Rublev has a career-high doubles ranking of number 44, achieved on November 6, 2023. He won his first doubles title at the 2015 Kremlin Cup with Dmitry Tursunov, and among his singles titles are home victories in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Early life Andrei Rublev was born in Moscow to Andrei Rublev Sr., a former professional boxer turned restaurant manager, and Marina Marenko, a tennis coach at the Spartak Tennis Club. His mother worked with tennis players such as Anna Kornikova and received the Medal of the Order for Merit to the Fatherland in 2009. She is also the mother of Anna Arena Marenko, Rublev's older half sister and former professional tennis player. Rublev has Austrian ancestry on his paternal side, through his grandmother Larissa Jenrikovna Rubleva. He often credits his paternal grandparents for raising him as a child for five days a week until he was 15. Rublev denies the claims his mother used to be harsh towards him. She was definitely not harsh. My parents always did everything for me. They love me very much. His maternal grandfather, Andrei Fyodorovich Tyurikov, was a pro coach in Greco-Roman wrestling, an amateur tennis player and doubles partner of Boris Sobkin, a coach of professional tennis player Mikhail Yushny and sparring partner of Grand Slam doubles champion Olga Morozova in her prime years. In 2013, however, Belarusian Sergei Tarasevich became his other coach. Then Tarasevich was replaced by Fernando Vicente from Spain, junior career Rublev playing at the 2013 Junior U.S. Open Rublev debuted in Luxembourg at age 13, getting his first win in his second competition in Phoenix. I in the following years, Rublev could climb the third rounds in singles, and in December 2012, he won one of the top junior competitions, the Orange Bowl. Next, in spring of 2013, Rublev achieved the NWU Puck slash RVTA Junior ITF 1 Cup in Pochestrom, South Africa. He successfully competed in following tournaments, especially on clay surface, including the Trofeo Bonfiglio in Milan, and became quarter-finalist at the 2014 Australian Open Junior Singles. At the doubles competition, he paired with German Alexander Zverev, reaching the quarter-finals. The first notable win was at the 2014 French Open Junior Singles, crushing John Munar. There he also reached the semifinals with partner Stefan Kozlov, before being knocked down by Frenchman and future winners Benjamin Bonzi slash Quinton Hallies. He became world number one ITF junior player on June 9, 2014, after winning the 2014 Junior French Open. Shortly before Wimbledon, Rublev captured the cup at the Nike Junior International in Roehampton, England. In the Wimbledon Championships, he reached the third round, before being beaten by 1,842nd-ranked Dutch Tim van Rijthoven in three tight sets. In doubles, Rublev and Kozlov lost to Brazilians Orlando Luz and Marcelo Zorman in three sets, attaining his first junior Grand Slam final in doubles. Rublev took a break before competing at the 2014 Summer Youth Olympics, where he played in all three events as first seeded. In singles, he lost to Camel Matchcrack in three sets, but received a bronze medal for beating Jumpy Yamasaki. Partnering with fellow Karen Kachanov in doubles, Rublev reached the finals, where they again lost to Brazilians Luz and Zorman. 
he and his mixed partner Daria Kasakina only reached the second round, where they were defeated by silver medalists Yichiyu and Yamazaki. In April 2015, Rublev finished his junior career by winning the inaugural ITF Junior Masters in Chengdu, China. In the final, the Russian beat Taylor Fritz in three sets. Professional career 2013-2014, early career in Davis Cup debut Rublev at the 2014 Kremlin Cup Rublev debuted at the Bulgaria F6 Futures, reaching the quarterfinals. He continued his career in Bulgaria, where he again reached the quarterfinals, but became runner-up in doubles. The 15-year-old reached his first ITF Futures final in 2013 in Minsk, Belarus. After an unsuccessful fall, he recorded his first win at the F31 Futures in Bradenton, Florida. In the 2014 tour he started in Kazakhstan, reaching a semi-final and a final in the two Futures events in Aktob, respectively. In the latter he beat Belarusian Yaroslav Shaila for his second win. Rublev reached the final of the Czech F1 Futures in doubles, partnering with Pol Andrej Kapas, and continued his success in the Russian F3 Futures in Moscow, becoming champion in singles and runner-up in the doubles competition. 2015 ATP debut, first doubles title Rublev at the 2015 Wimbledon qualifying round in 2015, Rublev entered his first ATP tournament in Delray Beach, where he reached the second round losing to Steve Johnson in straight sets. Rublev made his debut at the Davis Cup, where in the second round playoff of the Europe Zone Group I, in the third rubber, he partnered with Konstantin Kravchik and won the match against the Portuguese team Gasto Elias slash Joao Souza in three sets. The Russian participated at his first Masters 1000 entry in Miami, where he defeated Pablo Carreño Busta, but lost to John Isner. He entered the clay season at the Barcelona Open, where as a qualifier he reached the second round after overcoming Fernando Verdasco. With his win over Finn Jargoni Minin at Geneva Open, 17-year-old Rublev repeated Nadal's success in winning at least once on five ADP tournaments in one season as a teenager who is under 18 years old. Nadal did that in 2004. Rublev was called for the Davis Cup team in the 2015 Davis Cup Euro P-Africa Zone Group I match against Spain, held in Vladivostok. After losing his first match against Tommy Robredo, Rublev won his second match against Pablo Andujar in the decisive fifth rubber to complete a 0-2 comeback for Russia against five-time champion Spain. This secured Team Russia a place in the World Group playoffs. Russia played in the World Group playoffs last time in 2012, losing then to Brazil 0-5. He made his major debut at 2015 U.S. Open as a qualifier. Rublev won his first ADP title at the 2015 Kremlin Cup in doubles, partnering with comeback Dmitry Tursunov. 2016, challenger title Rublev started the 2016 year at the Chennai Open, losing to Stan Wawrinka in the second round. He reached only the first and second rounds of ATP 250 and Challenger tournaments. In March, this poor performance led to his decision to part ways with his coach Sergei Tarasevic. Immediately after that, on March 6, 2016 he made a turn by winning his first Challenger in singles, defeating Paul-Henri Matthew in Campere, France. As a result, Rublev jumped 47 positions from 208th to 161st ranking position, a new career high. In April, he joined Four Slam Academy in Barcelona, run by Gallo Blanco. 2017, first ATP title and major quarterfinal, top 50 Rublev at the 2017 Wimbledon Championships Rublev started well in the 2017 ATP World Tour, reaching the second round of the Australian Open after qualifying. On the way he beat 60th-ranked Lee Yen-sun, but then lost to Andy Murray. Rublev was successful in some challenger tournaments. He reached the 2017 Open to Ren Challenger Final, losing there to Belarusian Yeladzimir Ignatik. Again in Campere, France, Rublev reached the semi-finals, losing to Peter Gojoksic. Rublev also reached the semi-finals in Irving, Texas. The Russian had some success on grass court tournaments. He got into the quarterfinals of the Halley Open, losing there to his compatriot Karen Kachanov in a tight match. 
In the next tournament, the Wimbledon Championships, Rublev could reach round two, losing there to Albert Ramos Vinolas. Despite losing in the qualification round, Rublev as lucky loser reached his first ADP singles final at the UMAG Open, beating in the quarterfinals defending champion Fabio Fognini. In the final, he beat Paolo Lorenzi in straight sets to win his first ADP singles title. It was the seventh time that a lucky loser would win a tournament, the last tennis player doing so at that time was Rajiv Ram in 2009 Hall of Fame Tennis Championships. He reached the top 50 at world number 49. On 24 July 2017, Rublev went on to compete at the 2017 U.S. Open as a direct entrant. He grabbed his first win against top 10 player, beating number 9 Gregor Dimitrov in straight sets and made it through to the quarterfinals, beating David Goffin in the fourth round in straight sets. Rublev lost in straight sets to world number 1 and eventual champion, Rafael Nadal, in the quarterfinals. He qualified for the next generation ATP finals in Milan and made it into the finals, but lost to Chung Haiyan. 2018, first Masters doubles final Rublev commenced the 2018 season in Doha, where he went to the final, eventually losing in straight sets to Gael Monfils. Next, he reached the round of 32 of the Australian Open, where he was seeded for the first time in a Grand Slam event at number 30, but lost to third seed Gregor Dimitrov in four sets. Rublev continued his run of good form by reaching back to back quarterfinals in Montpellier and Rotterdam, losing to Joe Wilfried Sanga and Gregor Dimitrov, respectively. The Russian then had a first round exit in Acapulco, losing to David Ferrer. He did not compete at the 2018 French Open or 2018 Wimbledon due to a back injury he sustained at the Monte Carlo Masters where he lost in the third round to Dominic Thiem after having had a match point. Later in the season after returning to active play he lost to Frenchman Jeremy Chardy in the first round of the U.S. Open. 2019 Top 10 wins, second ATP title Rublev at the 2019 Paris Masters Rublev Open 2019 by making the round of 16 in Doha at a tournament in which he had been the runner-up in the previous year. This loss came at the hand of the fifth-seeded Nicolas Basilashvili who defeated Rublev in straight sets in only 61 minutes. Next, in the 2019 Australian Open, Rublev lost in the first round in four sets to American Mackenzie McDonald. In the Hamburg European Open, Rublev achieved his second win over a top 10 player by defeating the top seed and world number 4, Dominic Thiem, in the quarterfinals. He lost to fourth seed Nicolas Basilashvili in the final. In August, Rublev had the biggest win of his career so far at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati, where he defeated world number 3, Roger Federer, in the third round in straight sets, handing Federer his fastest loss in some 16 years. 34, Rublev then went on to, to lose to the tournament's eventual winner Daniil Medvedev in the quarterfinals. At the U.S. Open, the unseeded Rublev defeated eighth seed Stefanos Tsitsipas in four sets in the first round. In the second round, Rublev won the first set against Gillis Simon, but Simon retired early in the second set, sending Rublev into the third round. There he defeated Australian Nick Kyrgios in straight sets, catapulting him to the round of 16 at a Grand Slam tournament for the second time. There, he lost in straight sets to Matteo Berrettini. Later in the 2019 campaign, Rublev lost in the second round to Fabio Fognini in straight sets at the China Open in Beijing after having beaten Gregor Dimitrov in the first round. On his 22nd birthday, Rublev won his second ATP title at the Kremlin Cup, defeating Frenchman Adrian Manorino in straight sets in the final. 2020, five ATP titles, world number 8 Rublev entered the 2020 ATP season by winning back-to-back -back titles. Not allowed to compete in the newly established ATP Cup, as only a country's top two singles tennis players qualified, Rublev instead entered the Qatar Open, this time winning the trophy as he failed to do so two years ago. Next, Rublev took part in the Maiden Adelaide International. Third-seeded, Rublev overcame Canadian Felix Auger-Aliasime in a three-set marathon match in the semi-final, before reaching the final and soundly defeating qualifier Lloyd Harris. Together with his results at 2019 Davis Cup Finals, this was 12th consecutive win for Rublev. 
he became the first player to win two ATP tournaments in the first two weeks of the season since 2004, when Dominic Rubedi won tournaments in Adelaide and Auckland. Next up for Rublev was the first of the year's four Grand Slam tournaments. The Australian Open where Rublev extended his early 2020 undefeated winning streak to 11 matches by coming from behind for a four-set third-round victory over the 11th seed David Goffin of Belgium. His unbeaten 2020 run then ended the fourth round where he lost in straight sets to the 7th seed Alexander Zverev of Germany, who advanced to his first Australian Open quarter-final. Next in the Rotterdam Open, the seventh-seeded Rublev advanced into the quarterfinals with a round of 16 victory over Alexander Bublik of Kazakhstan. However, he then lost in straight sets to Filip Krajinovic of Serbia who then advanced to the semifinals. Then, in February at the Dubai Championships, Rublev made it to the quarterfinals where he lost in straight sets to the unseeded Dan Evans of Great Britain, after tournaments that should have started but were cancelled or postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The late 2020 season saw a number of replacement exhibition tournaments. Rublev participated at the Adria Tour, taking place in the Balkans. The tournament was split into four groups of four players each. Rublev, playing in the Alexander Zverev group, in Zadar, Croatia, beat Marin Cilic, Danilo Petrovic and Zverev to qualify into the final, where would have competed with Novak Djokovic. However, one of the participants, Gregor Dimitrov, was tested positive for the coronavirus, and so the final match was cancelled. Later in the season when competition resumed prior to the US Open, Rublev lost in three sets in a two-out-of-three set match to British player Dan Evans in the opening round of the Western and Southern Open, which was played this year at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, home of the US Open, instead of Mason, Ohio, where it is. Traditionally being held, seeded 10th at the U.S. Open, Rublev defeated Jeremy Chardy and Grigoire Barrere, Salvatore Caruso, all in straight sets. Rublev's round of 16 match pitted was a rematch against a player he lost to in the same round in 2019, the fifth seed Matteo Berrettini. This time, Rublev won in four sets and advanced to his second U.S. Open quarterfinal. He then lost in his quarterfinal match to Daniil Medvedev in straight sets with two tiebreakers. Next, Rublev achieved his third tour title of the year at the Hamburg European Open, where in the final he defeated second-seeded Stefanos Tsitsipas in three sets. However, Tsitsipas returned serve by defeating Rublev in straight sets in the quarterfinals of the French Open. However, this performance guaranteed him a place in the top 10 of the ATP rankings on 12 October 2020. Rublev then won his fourth title of the year at the St. Petersburg Open, defeating seventh seed Borna Chorich in straight sets. He reached a career high of world number no. 8 on October 19, 2020. In late October, Rublev achieved his fifth title of 2020 by winning the Vienna Open as the fifth seed. He defeated qualifier Norbert Gombosch in straight sets to win his first match of the tournament. Rublev would then beat Janik Sinner in three sets with Sinner retiring after only three games due to injury. Rublev would then upset second seed and defending champion Dominic Thiem. Rublev would then eliminate Kevin Anderson, Anderson would retire in the second set due to injury. Rublev won his match with Anderson. Rublev would then defeat lucky loser Lorenzo Sunigo to win the 2020 Vienna Open singles title. With this win, Rublev qualified for the ATP Finals in London, which was his first ATP Finals appearance. In mid-November, at the ATP Finals, Rublev was placed in Group London 2020, where he would be eliminated in the round-robin phase. He started off his ATP Finals debut with a match against Rafael Nadal, the second seed. Nadal beat Rublev. Two days after his loss, Rublev would face off against defending champion and sixth seed, Stefanos Tsitsipas. In his match, Rublev got match point on serve during the deciding set tiebreaker, but he double faulted and lost the tiebreak in the match. Tsitsipas won, and Rublev was eliminated from the tournament. Two days later, Rublev faced his final opponent, third seed Dominic Thiem whom Rublev defeated to conclude his ADP final debut, 2021, Olympic gold in mixed doubles, world number no. 5 Rublev started his 2021 season with a title at the ATP Cup, a country-based team event. 
playing for Russia, in a team with Daniil Medvedev, Aslan Karatsev, and Yevgeny Donskoy, Rublov bested Argentina's Guido Pella and Japan's Yoshihito Nishioka in the group stage to help his team advance into the semifinals. There he defeated Jan Leonard Struff, coming back from a set down to win. In the final of the ATP Cup, Rublov beat Fabio Fognini in straight sets. Rublov advanced to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open after defeating Yannick Hanfman, Tiago Montero, Feliciano Lopez, and Kasper Ruud. Rublov then won the Rotterdam Open, defeating Martin Fuxovics in the final. He also bested top 10 player Tsitsipas en route to the final. With this title, Rublov reached a 20 match winning streak at ATP Tour 500 tournaments, which is the third longest ATP 500 winning streak in tennis history. The next week, he went on to win doubles at the Qatar Open partnering Aslan Karatsev but lost his first singles match to Roberto Bautista Agut in the semi-final. Rublov's previous rounds were won by walkovers due to his opponent's injuries. The week after at Dubai, he extended his winning streak to 21 matches with his victory over Emil Rusuvuri in the second round. With this 21st consecutive win at ATP 500 events, Rublov tied Andy Murray for the second-longest winning streak at the tournament level since 2009 and also second overall, the only other player to own a longer run of ATP 500 victories being Roger Federer, 28. Rublov went on to reach the semifinals defeating Taylor Fritz and Martin Fuxovics in the quarterfinals for the third time in 2021, losing to wildcard and eventual champion Aslan Karatsev in the semifinals. In April, seeded fourth, Rublov reached his first semifinal at a Masters 1000 level at the 2021 Miami Open where he was defeated by the eventual champion Hubert Hercax. In Monte Carlo, Rublov reached his first singles Masters 1000 final, defeating 11-time champion Rafael Nadal en route. Although he lost to Tsitsipas in the championship match, he reached a career high of world number 7 and overtook Roger Federer in the rankings for the first time in his career. At the French Open, Rublov was upset in the first round in five sets by Jan Leonard Struff. At Wimbledon, Rublov reached the fourth round for the first time in his career defeating 26th seed Fabio Fognini, this marked the first time three Russian players reached the fourth round at the All-England Club since 2006, when Elena Dementieva, Anastasia Moschina and Maria Sharapova made their run. He was finally defeated by Martin Fuxovics whom he beat in five consecutive meetings between the two since his win at the 2020 French Open including Fuxovics's withdrawal in Qatar. At the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, he won the mixed doubles title with Anastasia Pavyuchenkova defeating compatriots Aslan Karatsev and Elena Vesnina in the final. Rublov was playing mixed doubles for the first time in his professional career and has no plans to continue until the next Olympics. At the Western and Southern Open, Rublov reached his second Masters 1000 final defeating Marin Cilic, Gail Monfils, Benoit Paire in the quarterfinals, and compatriot and top seed Daniil Medvedev in the semifinal, his maiden win over the world number two and the biggest win of his career. In the final, he lost to Alexander Zverev in straight sets. The match, lasting just 59 minutes, was the shortest final contested in the history of the tournament. At the U.S. Open, Rublov was seeded fifth in lieu of the absence of such players as Rafael Nadal and Dominic Thiem. He lost in the third round in five sets to Francis Tiafo of the United States. As a result of this run, he made his top five debut on September 13, 2021. At San Diego, he reached his eighth semifinal of the year, defeating sixth seed Diego Schwartzman. At Indian Wells, he reached the final in doubles partnering Aslan Karatsev where they were defeated by John Pierce-Philip Polasek duo. As a result, he reached a new career high ranking in doubles of number 59 on October 18, 2021. 2022, two major quarterfinals, four titles, ATP final semi-finalist Rublov at the 2022 Monte Carlo Masters Rublov reached the third round of the 2022 Australian Open where he was defeated by Marin Cilic. Rublov reached his first final of 2022 at the Open 13 in Marseille, defeating three French players en route Richard Gasquet, Lucas Puy and ninth seed Benjamin Bonzi with all matches going to three sets. He defeated world number 9, Felix Auger-Aliasim, for his ninth singles title. 
At the same tournament he reached the quarterfinals with Ukrainian Denis Molchanov, the duo won against the French pair of Bonzi slash Albano Olivetti to reach the semi-finals and Hugo Gaston slash Holger Rune to reach also the final. He lifted the doubles trophy as well just hours after winning the singles to make it a Marseille double against South African Raven Claussen and Japanese Ben McLaughlin. With the victory, he became just the third player to sweep both the singles and doubles titles in the tournament's 30-year history. On February 26, Rublev won the Dubai Championships defeating Czech player Yuri Vesely in straight sets to gain his 10th ADP singles title. Rublev also made international news headlines when, after winning his semi-final match, he wrote no war please on a camera lens a few days into the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Next, Rublev defeated 33rd seed Gregor Dimitrov in the quarterfinals at the Indian Wells Open, before losing in straight sets to the 20th seed and eventual champion, Taylor Fritz. In April 2022, Rublev defeated in three sets world number one ranked Novak Djokovic in the final of Serbia Open. At Roland Garros, Rublev reached the quarterfinals where he lost in a fifth set tiebreak to 20th seed Marin Cilic. The All England Club announced a ban on all Russian and Belarusian players, including Rublev, from competing at the 2022 Wimbledon Championships due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Seeded ninth at the U.S. Open he reached the fourth round, defeating 19th seed Denis Shapovalov in a five-set thriller with a fifth-set super tiebreak lasting over four hours, for the fourth time at this major. Next, he defeated seventh seed Cameron Norrie in straight sets to reach the quarterfinals, where he was subsequently defeated by Francis Tiafo. Rublev won his fourth title of the year at the Gijón Open in Spain where he defeated Sebastian Corda in straight sets. Seeded sixth, the world number no. 7 Rublev qualified for his third ATP finals in a row and reached the semifinals for the first time, defeating two former season finale champions, world number no. 5, Daniil Medvedev, and world number no. 3, Stefanos Tsitsipas, to set up a meeting with world number no. 4, Kaspar Rude. In the semifinal, he lost in straight sets to Rude. 2023 250th career win, Masters titles and three major quarterfinals Rublev at the 2023 Wimbledon Championships Rublev advanced to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open for the second time, where he then lost to eventual champion Novak Djokovic, winning just seven games. Rublev reached his first final of the year in Dubai as the defending champion defeating Filip Krajinovic, Alejandro Davidovich Fokina, Botic van de Zanschulp and Alexander Zverev, for the first time, before losing to Daniil. Medvedev, in Monte Carlo he recorded his 250th career win by defeating John Munar. Rublev became the 25th active men's player to record 250 career wins, the ninth man born in 1990 or later to achieve the feat, and just the fourth man born in 1995 or later to do it after Alexander Zverev, Daniil Medvedev and Stefanos Tsitsipas, following wins over Karen Kachanov, Jan Leonard Struff, Taylor Fritz and Holger Rune he lifted his first Masters 1000 trophy, the biggest of his career. In the final, Rublev defeated Rune in three sets, coming from 1-4 to four down in the third set to claim victory. At the Banja Luka Open, he reached his second consecutive clay court final following wins over Juan Pablo Varillas, Demir Jumhur, and Alex Malkin, but lost to Dusan Lajovic in the final in three sets. Next, at the Madrid Open, he reached the fourth round in singles but lost to compatriot Karen Kachanov. In doubles, the pair went on to win the title after defeating seventh seeds Matthew Ebden slash Rohan Bopena in the final. He reached the quarterfinals at Wimbledon for the first time in his career, defeating Max Purcell, Aslan Karatsev, David Goffin and Alexander Bublik, before losing to Novak Djokovic in four sets. Rublev won the Swedish Open, defeating Kasper Ruud in the final. Seeded 8 at the U.S. Open, Rublev lost to Daniil Medvedev in the quarterfinals, becoming the first player to lose his first nine major quarterfinals. Seeded 5th at the China Open, he reached the second round defeating Cameron Nori but lost to Hugo Humbert. At the same tournament, in doubles he reached the semifinals with Karen Kachanov. Also seeded 5th at the Shanghai Masters, he defeated this time 32nd seed Hugo. Humbert and 18th seed Gregor Dimitrov to reach his second Masters final of the season. He became the only player, male or female, to record 50 wins in each of the past three years. He lost in the final to 16th seed Hubert Hercax, 
2024, 15th title, 10th major quarterfinal, 300th career win Rublev won his first title of the season at the Hong Kong Open defeating Emil Rusuviri in the final. At the 2024 Australian Open, he reached the quarterfinals, but lost to fourth seed and eventual champion Janik Sinner, on the way he recorded his 300th win defeating 10th seed Alex de Menor from 2-1 down to win in five sets and reach his 10th major quarterfinal, and became the eighth man born in 1990 or later to reach the milestone, and just the fourth man born in 1995 or later to do it after Alexander Zverev, Daniil Medvedev and Stefanos Tsitsipas, playing style Rublev is an offensive. Baseliner with a big forehand, his favorite shot, and has a dangerous and consistent two-handed backhand. His running forehand is particularly lethal because of his consistency and comfort with the shot, making many passing shots with it. Despite his power, Rublev is often hyper-aggressive and can enter situations where he makes consecutive unforced errors, causing technical and mental difficulty to follow. However, he can also demonstrate periods when his forehand is elusive. He states that he does not prefer a particular tennis surface. Rublev has a powerful first serve that often reaches 200 plus km/h, 125 plus mph. His second serve, however, is underwhelming because of his high number of double faults during matches, as well as being much slower than his first serve. In 2020, Yevgeny Kafelnikov said the following about Rublev's game, I think his whole game, it just has some elements of playing junior tennis, hitting the ball harder and harder. If he improves in those two departments, his footwork and second serve, his whole game is going to change. Endorsements Rublev has been endorsed by Head for Rackets, Italian luxury brand Bulgari for watches, he used to be endorsed by Wilson for Rackets and by Nike for apparel and shoes. In 2023, Rublev launched his own clothing brand Rublo, that is not about clothes. Rublo has been created to drive awareness around equality and kindness with the hope of making our world a better place, as he claims, personal life outside tennis, Rublev practices boxing and basketball, and he is particularly interested in Mike Tyson, Rublev also creates his own electronic music like his idols, Martin Garrix and Alan Walker, Rublev is nicknamed the Rubble, akin to the Russian word ruble. He speaks Russian, English, and Spanish, and also is a longtime fan of the Golden State Warriors, NBA, comma, and has been regularly following football matches as a supporter of FC Barcelona. Rublev is an Orthodox Christian and can be regularly seen crossing himself after matches. He is the godfather to Daniil Medvedev's daughter, Elisa, awards and honors international ITF Junior World Champion, 2014. ADP Most Improved Player 2020, National The Russian Cup in the nominations, Team of the Year, Boys Under 16, 2013, Junior of the Year, 2014, Olympians 2020, Team of the Year, 2019, 2021. Sports Title Merited Master of Sports of Russia, August 6, 2021, Order of Friendship, August 11, 2021.